In this screencast, uh, we'll uh, start talking about um, the programming language L, uh, which is a computational formalism developed in the second chapter of the second edition of um, uh, the book uh, Computability, Complexity, and Languages by Davis, uh, Weyoker, and uh, Seagal. So um, this programming language L has uh, input variables. The input variables are denoted by X's with uh, subscripts. It has local variables. Uh, variables can be used inside um, L programs, Z1, Z2, Z3. There is a unique output variable, uh, Y. Then uh, there are labels, A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, and then A2, B2, C2, D2, E2, and uh, uh, so forth up to infinity. Now, um, if uh, the subscript is omitted, then it's the same as uh, the subscript of 1. So x is the same as x1, z is the same as z1, a is the same as a1, and so forth. Now, um, L has um, uh, four basic instructions. It is a purely theoretical concept, but a uh, co uh, construct, but a uh, construct, but uh, L, I mean, uh, but um, it is uh, uh, grounded in uh, essentially a high level assembly language. So there's the increment uh, primitive instruction, uh, the arrow means assignment. There is the um, decrement, there is the no op when some variable v is assigned to itself and then if v is not equal to zero go to L. This is the so-called conditional branch or conditional dispatch where L is a label, a legal label. So we notice that uh, the variable on the left hand side is the same as the variable on the right hand side um, for the instruction to qualify as the uh, legal primitive as a legal primitive instruction um, the variable condition must be satisfied so let's go through a couple of examples of legal primitive instructions or legal primitives so this is a legal primitive x1 uh, is equal to um, x1 is assigned to uh, or goes to x1 plus um, 1 z2 goes to um, uh, z, z10 goes to z10 plus 1 y goes to um, uh, y plus 1 or is, is assigned the value of y plus 1 uh, x102 arrow x102 plus 1 if uh, x102 is not equal to 0, go to uh, a1. These are legal in, uh, instructions because uh, the variables on the right hand side um, are the same as the variables. Uh, is the, uh, the variable on, on the left hand side is the same as the variable on the uh, uh, right hand side in each of those instructions. So, um, and then the last uh, if, if conditional statement, a1 is illegal label. So, and here's an example of illegal primitive instructions. So, x1 arrow x10 plus 1, different variable. On the left hand side, different from the variable on the right hand side, z10 arrow x1 plus 1. These are illegal primitive instructions. Again, uh, y arrow x102 plus 1. If uh, z10 is not equal to zero, uh, go to P10. So um, in the first instruction, we have um, different variables. Again, different variables on the second instruction, different variables on the third instruction, and uh, in the fourth instruction, there's an illegal label. P10 cannot be a label. 
It has to be A, B, C, D, or E with some subscript. Okay, um, so here's um, um, another set of examples of legal primitive instructions. So x1, arrow, x1, no op, uh, z121, arrow, z121. The examples of two legal no op instructions. And there's a couple of uh, illegal no op instructions. x1 arrow y, um, x120 arrow z10. The variables are different on the left hand side and the right hand side. Okay, then we can have, uh, since we can dispatch to a label, we can have labeled primitive instructions. We we'll have a label in square brackets at the beginning of the line. Let's give it some space. So x1 arrow, x1 plus 1. Um, then b1, x23 uh, arrow, x23 minus 1, an increment. Uh, a decremented um, labeled instruction, and the first one is an incremented labeled instruction. So here's another uh, increment uh, labeled instruction, and uh, here's a labeled no op primitive instruction, and this is a labeled uh, conditional branch. So um, the primitive instruction of um, increment, incrementing a variable value by 1, always succeeds. So there is no upper bound on the uh, value of uh, v. So in other words, uh, say buffer overflow uh, cannot happen in, uh, in L, as it can in C++, for example, or, or, or C when we add 1 to the maximum value of a long or an integer. Now, um, as far as the decrement operation, um, it decreases or decrements the value of v by 1 if uh, and only if v is strictly greater than 0, if uh, uh, then v is decremented by 1. If v is uh, uh, 0, then it remains a 0 because uh, we're computing only on natural numbers. So we are not um, handling, L programs do not deal with uh, negative numbers. The output of an L program is always stored in the value of Y. And what happens if the program does not terminate or let's say goes into an infinite loop, then the value of y is undefined, not defined. So let's uh, state that explicitly here that L programs operate, uh, manipulate, well let's call them um, can compute on uh, natural numbers, only on natural numbers. Well, so actually, uh, um, manipulate, mm, 
no let's say operate operate only on uh, natural numbers A couple of other uh, observations. Every L program um, has a unique um, end of computation label. So E or E1. And um, if a conditional dispatch goes uh, to a label, right, through go to, um, to a label that does not exist in the text of the program, then uh, the program immediately terminates. Okay, uh, so let's um, let's write a um, uh, simple sample program, and we're going to define a function, a program that computes this function. f of x is equal to 1 if uh, x is 0 and f of x is equal to x otherwise. So here's the first uh, labeled instruction x1 arrow x1 minus 1 y um, arrow y plus 1 uh, if x1 is not 0 go to a1 or you know we can drop the uh, subscripts and uh, just say x arrow x minus 1 y arrow y plus 1 if uh, x is not equal to 0, go to uh, a. So let's see what happens to um, uh, this program if the value of x1, which is the input variable, is equal to uh, 0. So the decrement doesn't uh, affect the value of x because 0 minus 1 still is 0 then y becomes 1 and then uh, at this line and then uh, x is 0 so this is not true we uh, do not dispatch to a1 so the program ends with y equal so f of x is equal to 1 uh, if uh, uh, x is 0 now uh, let's see what happens if uh, uh, the value of okay let me uh, grab the eraser and erase all of this. What happens if the value of x uh, is um, well, greater than 0? Uh, the value of x1, rather. So let's take it to be x1 equal to um, uh, something small, 2. Okay, so um, at uh, this label instruction x1 becomes 1, y um, becomes um, 1, everything defaults to 0, and then we dispatch, since x1 is equal to 1, uh, we dispatch to a1, and x is reduced to um, uh, 0, becomes 0, and then y becomes uh, 2, so um, and then we don't need to dispatch to um, uh, a1 because x is 0. So that's the end of the computation. So um, uh, we have computed f of uh, 2 equals 2. So according to the definition.